Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge R630 servers and we continue our series as a whole. In this video, we're gonna focus on NIC options and how to install your NIC. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R630 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's get rolling. Um, in this video, as we talked about, we're gonna be discussing the different uh, network options. Um, you can use a daughter card or a PCIe card. Uh, personally, I recommend the daughter card because the daughter card will leave a PCIe slot open and you can actually build, it's built into the board or you could install it into the board and not have to uh, waste a PCIe slot. So that, to me, that's the best option. Uh, with the, uh, the daughter card, it's quad port. So you can get four ports. Um, you can do something like uh, four one gigabit per second or two one gigabit per second plus two 10 gigabit per second. Or you can do a quad port, which is uh, 10 gigabit Per second there's several different options as far as how you want to lay it out if you want sfp or you want rj45 which is an ethernet uh, either way works uh, with this machine it just kind of depends on what you're looking for our favorites personally as far as like bang for buck which i think is the, the best way to go you can get for a good price uh two one gigabit plus two ten gigabit um rj45 or sfp uh, those are the best ways to go, in my opinion. Um, if you want to, you know, splurge and you know, install uh, four 10 gigabit, it'll cost a little bit extra, uh, but you can go that way as well. If you don't need them, just throw in uh, the four one gigabit, and that'll work great as well. So uh, we'll show you how to physically install that right now. All right, before we install them, I just wanted to lay out a couple of the different options for you. So these two right here are the daughter cards that i'm talking about which are the uh, preferred version in my opinion because you don't waste a pcie slot so this is going to be your uh, two by one gigabit plus two by ten gigabit for the rj45 this is going to be your two by one gigabit plus two by ten gigabit for the sfp plus uh, both are great options just depends on the connection you want over here this is the pcie slot version uh, which is going to be a dual port which is important to note that all of these are going to be dual port so personally like i said i like the daughter cards uh, it gives you four ports you don't waste a pcie slot to me it's a better option but hey to each their own it just depends on what you're looking for uh, this will be the pcie one and this will be the daughter card version all right, so we're going to show you how to physically install the two different types of NICs now. So we're going to pop the latch, lift the top straight up, nice and simple like any server you've been in before. So we're going to start by installing the daughter card right here. Uh, to install the daughter card, we're actually going to need to remove a few things. So we're going to need to remove riser 1 over here, which will just come straight up. And then we're going to want to remove uh, riser 3 over here, which again will just come straight up and now we're gonna actually install our NIC so I'll point out a couple things when you go to install this as a whole right here when I put this down you want to put this down in a way where it's all the way in there and kind of flush and then push it straight down at this angle Perfect. All right, so now it's completely in. You see it's still sticking up a little bit right here. So over here, we're going to want to push these two spots where it actually says to push. And you can see the, that it actually clipped in. That's where the leads are at. And now it's actually truly flush, okay? Now we're going to want to screw these uh, two screws in. And now it is fully inserted. So the actual NIC card is in, we'll put uh, riser three back on. Uh, I will note riser three, you do gotta kinda push a little bit hard to get it fully in there. And then we're gonna put riser one back in. And one thing I will say is just make sure everything is flush. Just kinda check at the end make sure like this is nice and smooth everything is nice and smooth it's fully flush everything's in so we've officially installed our NIC card and it was just that easy so now we're going to go ahead and do the PCIe version next all right so that is how you install the daughter card now we're going to put in the PCI version of the NIC card again I personally recommend the daughter card but both options are great options so 
Uh, kind of similar if you watch the uh, the NVMe video on our uh, R630 series. Uh, the third part of it, which was the uh, M.2s, it's very, very similar setup. So you're going to take out riser 1 over here. Lift this straight up and just take it out. And then we're going to come in over here. And we're actually going to take this black piece out. There's a little piece you push right here, and it'll come straight out. And now you got a lot of space to work with as a whole, and you don't have to worry too much about installing your card. And I will note, this one is a little bit difficult in the sense that you have to line up like three things at one time. Uh, this black piece right here, the um, this part of the board, or the PCB, will actually go into there, and you need to line up the two leads at the same time. Plus, you don't need to line up the back, and this piece needs to go in down here, so you kind of need to line up a lot. But once you get it all, it's, it makes it nice and easy, but it can be a little bit difficult, I will say, uh, as far as making sure everything is 100% flush. So, all right, so there we go. We got it in. Everything's looking good. Kind of got a little bit stuck, so we're going to shimmy it a little bit. And it looks like the bracket's actually getting stuck in the back, so we're going to push down a little bit more, and there we go. So we're good to go, and you got the PCI version of your NIC card installed. And again, this one's only dual port. It's, you know, dual 10 gig, which is still pretty awesome, but um, it's only dual port compared to uh, the NIC card, and it takes up a PCI slot. While it works great, um, it's a little bit more expensive. And you know, personally, what we normally build with uh, when we're building R6, our R630s uh, is we normally use the uh, the daughter card. I personally think that's the better way to go, but again, to each their own. So that's how you install your NIC. If you've made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe, and do us a favor. If you're looking to build an R630 yourself, uh, we custom build servers for data centers all over the world. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put this little black piece back in. And we're going to put riser 1 back in. And voila, it was just that easy. Put the top back in, call it a day. Hey, thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a great day.